Cameron illustrate just how relatively well their disabled doubles partners can play. And that was the theme today as international para-athletes congregated in Trafalgar Square to highlight the countdown to next year's Games. For a lot of young people, just to expose them to Paralympic sport that they may never have witnessed before. We've got 18 or 19,000 schools in the UK now involved in our Olympic and Paralympic education programs. And it's very evident to me that the more Paralympic sport you show people, the more interested they become in it. So today is really an opportunity to showcase a whole range of Paralympic sports, not all of them, but a good range of them. Go on, tell me. The thing about trying to interview an athlete is that you have to catch him first. And five-year-old Harvey Parry, who won five golds at the Endeavour Games in Oklahoma, used his wonderful new blades to get away from me. But Rudy Garcia Toulson, who won gold in Beijing and Athens, coaches Harvey and has high hopes for him. Us Paralympic athletes were more than just disabled. We're, uh, we're... We're, we're able we're able to go out and show the world that anything is possible. Of course, it'll be a while before Harvey can compete in the Olympics, but 22-year-old Ali Jawad is another Londoner with enormous talent and ambition, this time in powerlifting. We are probably more athletic than the able-bodied guys. We, we train as hard, we want it as bad. You know, we want gold medals as much as they do. So, you know, we, we, that's what we push ourselves towards. And as the Prime Minister took a gun to a couple of sprinters, the Mayor continued the sales pitch. They can do things that you and I couldn't begin to do. And I think that's why I hope so many people sign up tomorrow for the two million tickets, very, very reasonably priced, and get the chance to watch world-class sport in the Olympic, in the Olympic site.